The delusion is real. <laughs> the delusion is real, people. Just like in the video y'all just seen with the female canceling the date with this extremely attractive, tall, dark, and handsome man because she would rather stay home and play diamond art with her dog. There's other women like this who do things like this because... Again, they're socially awkward. I don't care how a woman looks. There's a lot of socially awkward women out here. They don't have people skills. They don't know how to to, to have a conversation with a man one on one without it going to either a conversation about relationships in general or about reality TV. She can't even tell you what exactly her future is. She can't even tell you what she wants in the future, what type of life she wants with a man. Does she want children? Does she want to be married? You know, does she just want to live together? Does she want to move to a different state? Maybe even a different country. Financially, what do you see? Are you putting away money? What are you putting away money for? Right? So a lot of times people got to understand that nowadays we have to recognize our flaws before it's too late. Because if we don't recognize those flaws, it's going to come back to bite us. My game attacks. Dio Moore 2121. <laughs> That's my game attack. <laughs> Shout out to Abby. She talks about getting high valued man, uh, high valued man, but the man wouldn't tolerate a clout chaser like her. Exactly. That's why they don't get those type of men. That's why they don't get those those type of men because they don't know how to keep one. They don't know the first thing about getting those guys. These women are used to dating mama's boys. Let's be real. They're used to dating guys who need them. Guys who live off them. They're not necessarily used to a man who can stand on his own too. Miss Tech, that's PlayStation 4. Yes. So, when they get around a guy who carries himself like a man, they don't know what to do because they have this high school mentality when it comes to dating. They're in this rebellious stage up into their 30s and 40s. They want to date the struggle rappers. They want to they want to date the struggling actors you know photographers how many of these chicks are dating these struggle photographers you go to their page dude got like and they're promoting these guys these guys got like two three hundred followers bro i mean listen i i understand that it's tough to build a business especially online but if you're dating an instagram model with hundreds of thousands of followers million millions of followers and she's promoting you and you still can't get clients you're not doing very well your work is not speaking for itself. You're a burden on her. And and a lot of these modern women are used to dating these struggling males, man. And what's funny is that these guys will be older than them struggling. Like you got these dudes that done been trying to be trying to be in the rap game for about 15 years, right? They've been they've been photographers for about 15, almost 20 years being a photographer, right? You got the ex-athlete living off of his name from college or the couple of years he played in the Canadian Football League. So a lot of times we have to look at ourselves and where we're at. What, what are we used to? Like, what are we used to dating? 
Who are we giving our energy to? Who are we giving our energy to? And who are we choosing to embrace? That's one of the things that we have to look at. Because I've been around good people and I've been around people I, I would never want to be around again. Because their energy is off. They're not creating anything. They're not supportive. They're leeches. Why even deal with people like that? Right? Now, I want y'all to understand something. You can do whatever you want to do with your life. But you're responsible at the end of the day for your happiness. And when you're putting stuff online about you canceling dates just to stay home with your dog, it ain't like you saying you canceled it because uh, you couldn't get your hair done and your your hairstylist refuses to to do your hair and you don't want to go on a date looking a mess, right? That's for the women that can't do their own hair. Or whatever you're going to wear, you haven't gotten it yet. It's taking a long time. It's some, it's some family emergency. No, you do it because you wanted some attention by putting this online. She probably couldn't wait to put this video online saying that she declined to date this guy who she considered a higher value man. Because she's not used to dating a guy who, one, can go out and just get any other woman he wants to deal with, and two, he, he's not one of these guys who's thirsty for her to date them. And he's probably a nice guy too, right? He's probably a nice guy too. So because of that, a lot of times they're going to see these guys as sort of down the road dating material. Like once I, you know, once I've, basically been ran through then i'll call you back that's basically what you see it's basically what you see and um they do this to themselves i've had a woman tell me that she stopped dating a guy because she felt like he was too much of a good guy. Now, she didn't tell me all of it because I believe the reason why she broke up with that particular guy wasn't because she felt like he was too good for her. It was because I think she was cheating on him with somebody else. And once she broke off that relationship with that guy, she thought the other guy was going to wife her up and it never happened because that dude could sense that you would put up with him, even though you had somebody else. You had another situation, but you were willing to leave that situation to be with the guy who you know is no good for you, but you want to get with him anyway and you sabotage your relationship in order to be with that guy. And what point did that prove? What point did that prove? It just you just you just basically destroyed yourself. Right? That's all you did. And you destroyed any attempts to have a meaningful relationship with a guy that actually cares about you. So a lot of these women do these things to themselves. And they cannot under any circumstances think that men are going to just fall for the shaming tactics. Because we hold them accountable. They don't want to have to face that mirror. But eventually they're going to have to face that mirror eventually they're going to have to realize that it's up to them to fix their situation. It ain't up to me. 
It ain't up to these other people. It's up to you. So if you get the opportunity to date a guy who is the type of guy you claim you want, go on a date with him. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid he's going to expose the fact that you're a lower tiered female? Did you feel inferior to his energy? Did you feel like he didn't match up to his other, the other women he's dealt with? That's what, uh, I think that's what's going on in this situation.